So when I tried to do a quick intro for this video, I actually recorded it last week and it's a garden tour. I was just hanging out with the goats here and I'm like, okay, I better just do a little intro. Now, the garden area that we have right now and the one that I'm going to show you, it's not going to be our permanent garden. Oh my gosh, Clara. Clara. You're definitely not gonna go with your boyfriend, okay? Because you're gonna get a new boyfriend this year. She's kind of upset that she's getting a new boyfriend. Anyway, you should see this. Thank you, Gaia. I love your kisses. But this is what it looks like. All the little kids around, including this one who I shared in another video that I haven't uploaded how skittish she was and now she's obsessed with me and eating everything Brie Brie -er. Excuse you? I mean, look at this It was supposed to be a messy one, now they made it even messier Do you want to tell us what we're going to do today? Okay So we're doing a garden tour and <laughs> stop little girl <laughs> oh. and um, the garden space is not where we are going to grow um, permanently you guys remember that we're waiting for the well to be drilled I'm gonna let her cuz that is a uh, of I want a boyfriend moment. I was telling uh, Heather at Sage and Stone Homestead that everyone is confused here and since as you can see it's overcast, it's I think 69 right now. <laughs> She's been doing this since she was born and she has the best balance in the world. Anyway, she'll find a way to get there. <laughs> there you go, see, that's what she does. This little one is sitting my camera. Mushroom, stop it, boy. Stop it. Stop it, you cuteness. That's Ash over there. He just moved. Girl, looks like they found something, so I'm gonna try to hurry up and do this. So, since we need to do the well and we do need to do the septic, a lot of the stuff that is happening right now is more temporary. <laughs> You're not scratching your head on my tripod. Hi. This little boys. Bless you. So, uh, right now that's where it is, but I uh, feel like I'm gonna leave that area as an orchard. That was my bra and scary. Kiss me and love me and bite me to get my attention when I'm ignoring them. I love you. I love you, Maya. Yes, I love you. You're my sweet girl. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for the kisses. Here comes little Brie. She's like, excuse me? That is my Grammy, it's not your Grammy. Okay, you can come and give me kisses if you want. Here comes Brie. She's giving me kisses in my arm now. Right now. Anyways, so I'm gonna leave in that space, kind of an orchard area where I'm gonna grow fruit and stuff like that. But to be honest, that's the only one spot too. 
I'm eating somebody's hair that I'm able to have like a permanent garden bed for flowers so I'm gonna show you my hydrangeas that are suffering in that corner because they need more shade I'm gonna show you my roses I'm gonna show you my I can't remember the name but I'll tell you in the video and those all those plants um, hydrangeas and roses were given to me by um, local and friend those all and the other stuff more perennial but flowers I always get them on sale at the end of July in our local uh, grocery store they always put it one dollar and I love to get them from there I've always had good luck with that grocery store stuff I think it's the, the, the typical Peoria gardens so much fighting over who is on top of me and yes Brie yes thank you for your kisses they're very very sweet this is what they all want they just want to be pet more pet and this is a jealous girl you're so cute mama you're so thinking cute no fighting with her, Brie! Leave her! She wants to be with me. Excuse you, Clara. Oh my goodness. From the youngest to the oldest, they're all in need of love. And people that probably watch these videos are thinking, oh poor goats, they're probably... Um, I thought there was something with wrong with Clara's back end. Um, they're probably thinking, people are thinking, oh my gosh, these goats, they're never, they never pet them. They never do anything with them. They're probably ignored. But I can assure you that they get all the love that anybody can give them. It's just, uh, that's just the way it is. They, they're just little brats. My goodness. Can we just not do that? Now I also wanted to mention that all the mulch that you see in the garden, it's all been taken, taken from the goat house, straight from the goat house. I never uh, compost. I'm starting to compost though, but um, I've never done it before. Like the goat's house use that for compost I've never done that I've composted before so I take it straight from their house when I clean it I'll put it in a wheelbarrow and that way oh my gosh look at these twins please girls so anyways I take it straight from the goat's house and I put it on top of the plants if you didn't know goat manure it's not hot like chicken manure is and it's not as dangerous as it could be to put something that is not composted enough on your plants however that is totally up to you if you want to do it or not it's kind of rabbit manure however I have to say that if you're gonna clean a bug house the bug house is full of pee and pee means nitrogen so if there's too much pee you can burn the the bottom of the plant it's not gonna kill it but it's gonna kill the, the the bottom leaves of the plant that's all that I've been getting since I've started using this method and since we got the goats so I'm gonna leave you with the garden tour I'm gonna stick around with this Please don't scream, don't scream. You're just by my ear. So I'm gonna leave you with the garden tour. There's a lot of videos that I'm editing. This is kind of real time intro for that garden tour. Um, things have changed since last, since last week. I've gotten a lot more fruit. A thin girl. I'm gonna leave you with a video before I get eaten alive and this is not a scary movie where goats are supposed to be killer goats, okay? That's a Japanese maple my begonias that came back from last year, bigger another Japanese maple and my roses they're full of buds 
These are my hydrangeas that we had a few days of high heat and they're suffering. Let's kill my out of control mint. These are black crimson tomatoes. I don't know, but if you look, the flower is very different. So I'm eager to see how different these tomatoes are. This, I had a problem apparently. These are Brussels sprouts. So you can see there are some, there's some proof that um, that's something going on there. Uh, there's nail or or a slug. If you see the right there, then you can see the evidence of a slug. This is my Roman tomatoes. I always use grass clippings, like a thin layer of grass clippings, as the mulch, and it helps with the weeds, as you can see. These are tomatillos, and again, same thing. This one has less grass clippings, so it has some grass growing. You can see the soil. This is a Roma tomato. And as you can see, it's barely starting to put up some flowers. These two, I just put them here, transplanted here. These two are paste tomatoes. And then these bigger ones are some starts that I bought. I never tried this Oregon spring, so I got two and two of this early girl. And these varieties are better for our climate. And as you can see, I already have tomatoes in this one, like the beginning of a tomato. I don't know if I can make it focus on that. There we go. Right here, you can see. There's another one. Now that is the same variety, the Oregon one. And this is an early girl that really is not giving me much to work with yet. But this, this is an early girl. But I've canned a lot of these tomatoes for uh, tomato sauce and stuff like that. And my grapes doing super good they were tiny they were if you remember they were probably like this big now we're already taken over these are my blueberries that are struggling i need to put some grass clippings to help it a little bit but they are starting to these grow were supposedly my raspberries but nothing happened I'm starting some other things like bok choy cilantro dill here are some flowers I'm starting. Sweet William, English Daisy. And this one's right here, they're dahlias. A dwarf variety. And as you can see, they're sprouting over there. This is something I grafted from a neighbor's tree, and it's a plum tree. It's kind of struggling, but still alive. By my bedroom window I have the strawberries because over there where they were they were being eaten by the birds and here they don't dare between the cat as you can see and the dogs just have to water that these are some strawberry plants those are my hollyhocks oh, God. they look like paper flowers. This is something I transplanted yesterday and these are dwarf dahlias. My avocado tree. You can see up there. can't remember what sage. I think this is sage. Isn't it? Pretty sure this is sage. It smells like it. There. Which looks like nothing. I have some um, seeds here. I'm gonna put some grass clippings on top today after I mow, but this is for lettuce. And this is an experiment. I didn't put any kind of 
amendment to the soil, but I'm gonna see if I can make them grow and and then fertilize as needed. When somebody has eggs that went bad, I always recycle them and put them inside my pots. This look like daisies, but I don't know really what they are. I know that somebody gave me the seeds that they kept. I'm kind of repotting things here, so excuse me. Nothing is permanent. I am growing, as you can see, asparagus in these boxes. Now my idea is to transplant them. Uh, once I plant in these boxes, it really is super easy to transplant them when needed. Those are glass, glass, grass clippings. This one needs more soil. As you can see, it's kind of needing extra support, but it's because it needs more soil. So I'm gonna bring more soil to this. And these are also asparagus. I planted them last year, so I'm not gonna get asparagus this year. Here I used to have a bell pepper that I bought, an orange blaze, but apparently every single snail loves it too, as much as I do. Roly polies, I hate them with a passion. I do hate them. Believe me, they eat everything that they see. This one is always trying to come back. It's a California wonder. I mean, you can see this is a tall fail. <laughs> and this is another bell pepper. This is called Snackabell Red. And I'm hoping to get some. I don't know. This is called Snackabell Red. And it seems like it's gonna flower. This one was eaten more than once by snails, too. So, this is kind of my outside the duck pen garden.